Welcome to my basement. In this video we will have a look at Game Base 64. So let's uh, start out with uh, what it is and uh, what it's not. It's a database that strives to contain information about all C64 games ever created. It does not supply the games themselves because of obvious copyright restrictions. Abandonware you say? Well, some games may be just that, but the database also contains information about games still on sale and released as late as 2022, when this database was last updated. So, how can you view the database? Well, there are two options. Either you view the information on their website, or you download all assets and use a fronted called GameBase to view the database locally on your PC. Let's have a look at the website first before we dive into the installation of GameBase locally. So on the website you go to the GameBase collection uh, tab and you have uh, an overview of uh, all the games available in this collection and it's uh, really huge. Uh, it's information about uh, uh, well, they say it's 29,000, but when I've been playing around with the data, it's 28,200 games, I think. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, look up one of my favorites. Uh, Rambo. Uh, see if it's here. Yep. So here you go. Uh, there are screenshots available and. Uh, all the game information uh, that is known for this database uh, and as you see on the game and uh, they have not uh, supplied that because they have no license uh, there are of course collections online that uh, supports uh, this database so we will uh, look into that as well uh, yeah so that's uh, basically what it is, a collection of all the games known and uh, information about them. So let's uh, see how we can install this locally and also connect it up with a game dump, I guess, from archive.org. Okay, so let's look at the files you need. They are uh, found under the download uh, section of this site. Um, you need the game base frontend. Uh, this is a frontend that supports different collections for different systems. It's basically just a user interface on top of a database. Um, you will need the database itself, which is what this site really provides, I guess. It's the information about all the C64 games. Uh, you will need the screenshot pack. This, is, this contains all the screenshots that are displayed in the game base frontend when you navigate and look at games. Uh, you can also include uh, the photos of musicians and you can include some C or game based 64 classic game sounds uh, I'm not recommending this it's not the SID files it's just different sounds when you navigate so yeah it's um, it's not for me so I won't go into that but we will look at uh, how to install the front end how to hook the front end up to the database uh, and the screenshot pack and the musician photos pack so yeah after you have downloaded all these files you will have a directory uh, with the files of course this is the game base front end this is the rar file that contains the pictures of the musicians uh, this is the game base 64 version 18 which is the last one and this is the screenshot pack that uh, correlates with version 18 of the game base 64. So a word of advice before we start, if you have installed game base uh, 64 before and somehow failed 
uh, you will have to use the uninstaller before you install it again. Uh, yeah, let's uh, get to it. Okay, so let's uh, try to install this. Uh, we will put this in a folder called install files. Yes, just move them there. Okay, so first we install game base. Oop. And we want to install it in this directory here. No start menu folder and no desktop icons. I don't need that. Okay, so if you go here, we see that uh, game base frontend has been installed. Let's uh, do the database next, the game base 64 collection. So where we want to have that is the same folder as the game boys, game base uh, frontend and in the GBC version 18 folder and the naming of this folder underneath the installation folder of GameBase is important because it has to match up with the database name okay so yeah that's done and you can see that the GameBase uh, collection is installed uh, here Let's uh, look at the other files. These are just zip files, so let's unpack them if we can. The idea is just to drag them to the folder. Okay. So that was quick. Uh, now we come to the screenshot uh, zip file, which is a lot bigger and contains a lot of small screenshots. So uh, that will take a while to unpack, but uh, let's just drag them over and uh, yeah. So now the screenshots are installed, uh, let's uh, launch game base and uh, see what happens. Okay, so uh, let's uh, set up the emulators now uh, with the wizard. Okay, so start, uh, Commodore 64, that's correct. Uh, I have installed the uh, version 3.6.1 of uh, Vice. The reason for that is that <laughs> the game base uh, database actually have hard coded which emulator versions it supports. So there are a set of Vice version it supports uh, and it does not support the latest. So I ended up installing 3.6.1 and uh, that uh, actually worked last time at least. And you see the smiley face, uh, hoping that that's okay, and he has found uh, the emulator. So yeah, finish. And uh, yeah, that's... Uh, I don't want to have it running on startup and uh, looking for updates. Uh, now we need to do one last thing, and then that is to tell uh, the game base uh, frontend where the... Uh, pictures and uh, photos of the musicians and if you have the game collection where the game collection is and also the music files you can add uh, okay so this was the screenshots so let's select like, the screenshot uh, section Fo pictures are screenshots and photos are the photos of the of the musicians Okay, so now we have set up pictures and photos, and 
I have downloaded uh, the game collection from archive.org. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do it, but uh, if you search, you shall find. Uh, so let's see. Games. So I've selected the games, the pictures, and the photos. You can also set up the seed uh, file directory. I have the seed files. Uh, available as well that's not it it's the high voltage uh, seed collection and c 6 for music so that's uh, that but i haven't uh, i think you need to install uh, some kind of player to play the seed files and i haven't done that but uh, yeah here you go you have a uh, game base uh, Operational with all the information of the game and the screenshots and uh, yeah uh, it uh, definitely got the, the visual basic or visual fox pro uh, look to it uh, which is just an overlay over a database uh, or a UI over a database but uh, you can sort on uh, yeah, uh, different criteria. I think even you can do some searching. It's not the most intuitive uh, um, front end, I think. And, uh, but uh, looking old school and showing retro games, I guess it's uh, good. Uh, here we say, say see that uh, apparently it found the seed file, but uh, yeah. Uh, there is actually one thing else you have to do after you have uh, told it where to find all the information you need to go to tools and uh, verify available files uh, it will then uh, go through the database and check that it has all the files it needs uh, game files uh, screenshots and so on so let's uh, just do that you can say what it's going to verify games music pictures and start okay so yeah it has verified the install uh, it's actually 133 tunes it didn't find in the high voltage seed collection uh, but yeah everything else is there and now we see that the play button is also available uh, so yeah let's uh, can do the white dash which is a boulder dash game from 2000s I think and you see that device starts up and uh, launches the game correctly yeah that's uh, it for this uh, video uh, in the next video i will look at how we can use the information for the games and load them into my homemade retro game launcher hope to see you next time